Hi everybody and welcome to OP Digital Blueprint. I'm going to excuse myself already because my background seems to be playing trouble, having trouble. But um, I am joined by my good friend Red Redfern. Um, Collins Hi. unfortunately can't make it this week um, and I apologise because I wasn't able to make it last week. Um, but um, oh, we're going to have a little chat today. Nothing major at the end of the day, but we'd like to hear a little bit more from Red because Red did <laughs> in the chair with Marty DeGamo today. So, Red, over to you, my friend. Yeah, I did. Thanks very much, Andy. Good to be here once again. Uh, I do like coming on a Tuesday to say hello to you and everybody else. Uh, yeah, I'm very privileged to have uh, Marty DeGamo today in the chair with me. Um, you know, we, we all know Marty, don't we? We see him. He's probably the second most known man in uh on passive next to our ceo uh, and uh what he does for the company really goes above and beyond what is asked of many people he is uh a really nice guy and having him in the chair today uh for me was extra special um i've known marty previously from on passive so i i didn't um met Marty a couple of years before we actually uh, joined on passive. So, um, you know, I, I am very privileged to see him doing so well uh, with us here. Uh, and in the chair today really was eye opening to a certain extent. Uh, we got to see uh, a different side of him, got to know a little bit more about him uh, from behind the scenes of uh, his family what he does, uh, what he used to do work-wise, uh, how he'd gone through the ranks within his job and and then travelling literally the world uh, in those early days of uh, the tech business. Uh, it really was uh, a, a great to, to listen to his story. But for me, more importantly, um, uh, I loved it because of... Uh, his openness and honest honesty, you know, he, he really is an honest guy. Uh, I think that's the best way that I can put it. And, you know, not only what he does for on passive, but also taking on his grandkids with it so that they've got a proper family environment. You know, it's not easy, especially at his age. I think he's 63, coming 64 uh, and Dawn as well, you know, and you don't really want to be having a young another young family at that age, but he's done the right thing in his eyes, their family, their blood, and uh, he's taken them under his, his wing. And also that spread out for me a little bit as well onto on passive, you know, uh, about he really does go above and beyond with what he does for everyone. He's very selfless uh, in what he does. And that really shown in, in the chair, uh, for me today and hopefully for everyone else uh, you can view it it's on my channel just go and have a look uh, it really was a great great interview uh, and I was very privileged to have him and I've actually got um, Chris Johnson coming on Friday as well so that'll be a bit of a giggle so uh, yeah really really good fun um, obviously I've re I've enjoyed doing the chair uh, but it really has been an interim infill I suppose uh, whilst we're getting ready to open our doors once again. Uh, I will reiterate what our CEO did say uh, when we saw him last, and that was that uh, by the end of September, uh, we will have our OES back. Uh, if you remember, he also looked so relieved, didn't he, when he said that 100% uh, of all of the coding for uh, a, the OES, but also all of those products and services has and is intact, uh, plus all of the data of all of our accounts, which was including uh, the wallets, any bonuses that were part of all that. All that is good to go. What does this mean in reality? Uh, it means that whatever platform they choose to host all of this on, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be AWS services. It could be one of the many others. Uh, it really is just a question of loading it all on there because we've got all that data. He also did say that we are going to be opening uh, our doors once again with the OES uh, by the end of September. 
there's going to be a week or so in between the two scenarios, but definitely by the end of September is what he said. Now, I also want to reiterate that this does not mean that we will be earning money from the day that we open the doors. Uh, he said that we will be, be able to access the OES and all of the products and services that we were used to before, O-Connect, uh, O-Trim, uh, uh, O-Mail, and obviously O-Net, and plus your own OES and uh, the back offices, et cetera, that deal with all that. So please, guys, bear in mind that it doesn't mean uh, once we open that that's it, uh, we're all going to be singing and dancing and all the rest of it. Uh, I am pretty confident we will see our CEO this week uh, at some point. Uh, we, he wasn't around last week. He's extremely busy. And so I'm sure that we will get an update from him in one way, shape or form from him this week, uh, whether it's on 360 tomorrow or whether it is later in the week. I'm sure that we will hear and see from him. Uh, but that, that's it in a nutshell. Um, you know, we've got a lot to look forward to. Um, you know, we are treading water at the moment. This is why I've been doing the chair. But I have to say, I am going to look forward to getting back to my lane, I suppose, which was bringing you guys as many updates as I possibly can uh, throughout uh, the OES and the uh, websites, etc. So back to you, Andy. Thanks. Thanks, Red. <clears throat> I, I think this has been a, certainly for me this has been a, a a time to be able to plan ahead for what is coming um, because and we all know the phrase don't we proper prior planning prevents poor performance um, but the beauty of this is being a business being your business gives you time and this has certainly given me time to be able to start to plan for what I really want to try and achieve what I really want to do and what steps I'm going to need to be able to take once this goes back ahead now we've seen a glimpse of of you know the the opportunity that has presented itself to us and and that we are part of but some of us still haven't grabbed it the way it should be grabbed this is your future people this is something that will never come again um and i truly believe that if you take advantage of it to the best of your ability that it will produce uh, the the results that you desire over a relatively short period of time once we go back live again and and those that sit back and do nothing yes at some point in the future you may well be successful but that might take five years ten years why do you want to wait that long i don't understand the people that want to do that i'm uh, listen don't get me wrong i'm happy that they want to do that because it gives people like us that are paying attention that do want to to achieve it gives us the opportunity to move ahead because the others they're just going to let it you know run itself do its own thing fine i haven't got a problem with that at all as i said it gives us the planners the the guys that do understand what's going on it gives us the opportunity to reach our goals or achieve our goals far far sooner and that's what's exciting for me i think this extra time that we've had certainly and i'm sure there are others but it, for me it's given me the opportunity to actually plan the numbers plan the um the way forward to be able to take advantage of the business as soon as we can um, so what have you planned so far, Red? What are your plans to get to the next bit? Uh, I think it's important to understand that when we do start opening the doors again, that uh, we it, it's not going to be the same as September last year because obviously a lot of the momentum that we had last year uh, building up to September was there. And obviously when things started going wrong, uh, as far as payment processes, et cetera, it did cause an awful lot of problems. And obviously, I'm sure uh, at the point that our CEO wants to divulge the information of how and when and whys and whos, 
etc which caused all the problems uh, we will have a much better understanding of that scenario so what I, the reason I was saying this is, is that when we open our doors, we're not starting from scratch, but we're certainly not starting at the level we were in September. But we certainly are starting from experience. And that is the real importance here, is that when we get going, you have got so much knowledge now of the business, of the products, of the services, how it all works, uh, the commission bases and all the rest of it, that there shouldn't be any confusion of what's what and who's who. And as Andy rightly said, it is up to you to take advantage of this period of time that we're in at the moment to get your ducks in order so that you can get off to a flying start when things uh, open and back up running again. What am I looking forward to doing? Well, for a start, I'm looking forward to uh, getting the word of on passive out there to as many people once again and telling them, hey, guys, we we've been uh, paused for a while because of uh, certain uh, issues that the company's had. But we're now back bigger, better, stronger. Uh, we're more stable. We have uh, a better team. All of these things uh, I will be using uh, to introduce people to the products and services of on passive once again now you also have to use the amount of time that we've been around again for your for your advantage what do i mean by by that you know we've been here over six years the company has been here over six years and a lot of people have tried very hard to derail of us and even close us down in one way shape or form but we're still here and that alone, on its own, counts an awful lot in the world of business. If you can show, which we can very easily, that we are still here, we haven't gone away, you, the, the ability to be able to have a good online ethical business with on passive is still there, then I really do feel that that is going to be extremely beneficial to all of you when we start talking about on passive once again and our products and services and at the end of the day marty said this in the chair and i totally agree with him and even ashmi farrow when he was in the chair talked about this a little bit people need this business people need on passive they might not even know about it yet but they do need it why? Because we are going to be producing things that are going to be cheaper than what people are using already. They're going to be better. They're going to make their lives easier. And if you put all those things together with the single sign on and the ability to be able to earn uh, a residual income through the resale of our products and services, then it's going to get some people really, really excited. Now, you might think, Everyone knows about on passive, don't they? You know, we've been around and people have seen it and they've walked away or they're not interested or whatever it may be. Yes, you're right. A lot of people do. But in the scheme of things, nobody knows about on passive. I can assure you of that. You know, if you go into any shopping mall anywhere in the world and you put a banner of on passive up there, you are going to get people asking you, what is that? And that, for me, really is the difference. I think that, you know, we we have to utilise what we've got to our best ability. And that, for me, is going to help us all, an awful lot in the future. Just having the knowledge that we've been here for six years, we haven't gone anywhere, we're coming back bigger and stronger. Have a look at these products. It's going to help you within your normal everyday life back to you thanks red yeah i i a comment various comments have been made about um some of the other like the video conferencing platforms that are available and and i always felt i found this quite interesting the spin side of it because you know our product 
is is $125 and then we had um, 10,000 attendees. Now, it may not be the same when it does go back to be live, but it's never going to be anywhere near the $6,500 a month that one of the other platforms charge. And interestingly enough, the comment that's, that uh, um, uh, has been made about it is that these companies are likely to go back that use these platforms that are likely to go back to the company that provides this and go, hold on a second, why have you been charging us this amount of money when this company are doing it at that and theirs is far better? This is this is a game changer, people. This is absolutely a game changer. And <clears throat> you're going to get a, a, an awful lot of very angry clients, very angry customers that they have been ripped off for so long by these monopolies. And this will change the system. Why do you think that um, we've had so much um, or so many issues and problems to deal with? Because the people that already are in the system that have their monopolies in place, they don't like what's going on. They really don't like what's going on. And they know what's coming because they've seen a taste of it as we have. So, you know, and and it does make me laugh because I've got I've got um, uh, friends that have said, you, you, you're still in. What are you doing? You're not getting paid for this. What? Why are you doing it? And my answer to that is when you've got as much interest from the big boys that we've got, they're doing something very, very right. And this is what we need to encourage others to understand. Because once they do, they go, oh, yeah, the little light bulb comes on and you go, now I understand why there's so many problems. Because of the corruption within this system at the moment has not helped us. It's against us because we are the difference. As we've said before, the correction to the corruption. So th th this is what makes a difference to the entire planet. This is the first step. And this is the hardest step that has to be made to get onto that system and get into it so that people are and do become aware. So this is going to be a game changer, guys. And believe me, once people start to understand what's really going on and how they can take advantage of what we've got in comparison to the others, um, then game over. And it is going uh, to spread like wildfire, isn't it, Red? Yeah. But what, what, one of the interesting points, though, that Ash actually brought out in one of the webinars uh, was that all of our competition, I suppose, in inverted commas, have had more than enough time to be able to build something exactly the same as what on passive has done with the OES and all the rest of it. So there's two sides to this story, isn't it? It beggars the, it beggars the question, why haven't they done it? Now, the reason they haven't done it is because guess what? They are all motivated from a business point of view by profit. They've taken a look at how much it costs to actually to put this together, uh, how much the company is giving back to the affiliates within it. And they go, well, actually, they, there's not enough money in this for us to put our resources and what we pay for already and pay our shareholders, and pay the directors, and pay the owners, etc. They they just they, for them they go nah. There's not enough in it for us, and so they end up walking away. But and here is the but that uh, I like about it, and that that is they actually don't want us to succeed either. So they not only do they not want to do what we're doing, but they actually don't want us to succeed either because they do look at it as a threat, but they're not prepared to do it themselves. So this is why we've had all of the forces uh, against us um, in one way, shape or form, uh, trying to derail us because they don't want us to, to succeed. But I, I know one thing, and that is, our CEO right now is more determined than he ever, ever, ever has done to make this work for all of us, not only just for himself, but also for us. Why? Because he wants to put the virtual two fingers up to the people and say, I told you, this is the way to do it. 
This is the new way of doing business online. You've tried every angle to derail us. You've tried every angle to bring us down in one way, shape or form. And we're still here. So it really has got the bit between his teeth now as far as making on passive work, which at the end of the day is fabulous for all of us. Oh, absolutely. On oh, my word. It, it once you understand the magnitude of, of what he is doing, because let's face it, 99.9% .9 of us would have given up a long, long time ago. All of the hassles, all of the problems, we'd have given up. Um, uh, and yet our CEO has had the foresight to say, do you know what? No, I'm not going to give up. This is what we want. This is what we need because it will change the planet. That's what's important at the end of the day. And and Yes, the products are going to come out and, they're going to, and they are far better than what's available. That's just a tiny part of this. That's just a tiny part of this because it does change the existing system. We don't have shareholders. We don't have these greedy shareholders that say we want our pound of flesh and you've got to take this amount of profit. We're not the same as the likes of Amazon with Jeff Bezos or Mark Zuckerberg um, who are just interested in it for this. That's not what it's all about. And believe me, if you put those two people together and just took a small proportion of what they have, they have in their pockets, you'd be able to, as Ash has pointed out already, cure or deal with um, um, starvation across the planet. Are they willing to do it? Are they hell? They're interested in this and nothing else. So... <clears throat> Uh, I'm with the CEO all the way, and I really, really cannot wait for this to go. But as I said, I'm spending as much time as I possibly can making sure that I plan. I plan ahead so that I can take advantage to the best of my ability. So I hope you guys are too. Any final comments you'd like to add, Red? No, not for me. It's been a great session again, as always, Andy. Uh, I do like coming on. Uh, we have a good discussion norm you know, normally about... Uh, how we see things and we are very open and honest within our opinions and i do like that excellent thanks red and thank you everyone for joining us today we will be back again um next tuesday but in the meantime we also have heroes on the sunday so don't forget to join us for that and who's in the chair this week red uh I, i've got i've definitely got chris on friday and i'm filling in for the other two days probably not tomorrow because it's going to be 360 but uh, we'll have somebody on thursday all right brilliant all right thanks guys thank you for joining us we'll see you again soon okay